Well, congratulations. Thank you so much, Steve. You know, I, I cannot believe your story. You lost your parents at an early age. You had a near-death experience at five. You become the first contestant from your country to ever become a Miss Universe contestant. How in the world? <laughs> the first one to reach the final 13. How in the world did you get here? Well, Steve, I have a very strong and loving, supportive family. My siblings and I are lucky to have been... Thank you. My siblings and I are lucky to have been left in the hands of our stepmother, who's been our mentor, and always encouraged us to chase our dreams without giving up, that we should always pursue... That we should always pursue that which we love, as long as you keep... As long as you keep yourself alive, keep, keep hope alive, you'll always make it. And death is always, it's like, an, uh, it gives meaning to life, to know that our days are numbered and our time is short. So I live my life, thank you. So I always live my life like it's the last moment. And this moment right here, I will live to remember. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kenya. Tonight's very first round of competition. The judges are ready. The fans are ready. It's the first three of your 13 finalists. I drive a sports car just to prove. Here is Kenya. The last time a woman wearing an animal print swimsuit won a decade ago. We're over halfway there. Also, Moving on is Kenya. I'm very honored and proud to represent my lovely country, Kenya. We have 42 tribes in total. If I became Miss Universe, the message that I would give to all women in the world is to believe in themselves, that every shape, every height, every size is beautiful, that you should not be defined by what you wear, you should not be defined by who you date, you should not be defined by material wealth, but what should make you complete as a woman is to be confident in knowing that you can achieve anything to know that there are no limitations, that you can work hard and you can be whoever you want to be. Kenya! Please welcome the next trio. Three more outstanding women dressed to Still in the running is Kenya. What should make you complete as a woman is to be confident in knowing that you can achieve anything. Kenya. Kenya, you're up. Now, arguably, no United States president has had a more active first 10 days in office. What are you most excited about and what most concerns you when it comes to the presidency of Donald Trump? Politics <laughs> uh, is Okay, let me just start again. <laughs> Donald Trump, having been elected as the President of the United States, may not have been the choice of many people living in the United States because, because of the divided support system for the outgoing President, Barack Obama, who was supporting a 
an upcoming woman president who was supposed to be a woman president, Hillary Clinton. So, so many people opposed his position, but I feel that once he took up his position, he was able to unify the entire nation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kenya.